Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow. So we're just going to see what comes up. Or today, whenever this resonates, this is just an energy I'm picking up on. Uh, we could call this March 4th, but you know there are no clocks in divine timing. So as far as the date goes, throw that right out the window, okay? Let's just see what comes up. What, do I, what does somebody need to hear today? What's the message? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Chariot. Wonderful. So this is forward movement. Something is moving forward very, very quickly towards victory and success. Somebody is replacing their fear. They're taking the reins and they're heading. Somebody is heading. It's like they're in the driver's seat and they're moving. So something is moving. There's a transformation on the horizon and it's, and it's like, it's on. It's on. Like, no stopping me now. I'm on my way. That kind of energy. A steering. If somebody is steering in the right direction. It's like they they are like moving. No fear. No fear whatsoever. Ooh. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Somebody is hiding. Somebody is hiding behind the scenes. They've been hiding. Somebody's been hiding. Trying to manipulate a situation. We got a manipulator here. We definitely do got a manipulator here. Things have been out of control and somebody's been trying to control refusing to see a new approach when it's really time it's really time to transition somebody hasn't been practical they've been unrealistic very controlling energy there's been a really controlling energy here Somebody may have been acting naively. Maybe they were naive in the first place. They were naive in the first place and now, you know, they want to go back to something. Because it looks like somebody wants to go back and get what they left. Maybe they're deciding, you know, it's time, it's time to go get what I left. Maybe they're angry and upset. They can't move on. Somebody can't move on. They can't. With the Six of Swords reversed, they're stuck. Somebody is stuck. They may be jealous. They may be suspicious. They may be dealing with a hot-headed individual in which part, maybe they're even scared. They may be scared, but, you know, they're going to replace that fear with faith. They may be scared of this person. Yeah, somebody is, is wanting to go back to something after they walked away. They walked away cowardly, and now they're angry. They're angry because they left something behind that was valuable. And now they maybe they've got this sudden epiphany that, you know, 
I need to go get that. I need to go get it. Yep. Mm. The glare. feels like somebody wants to put in effort. It does. It feels like somebody wants to work together. Somebody um, may be willing to make some compromises to make something work. Somebody may be deciding that they're ready to put in a little bit more effort. Um, defend something that they think is theirs. You know, defend themselves. Uh, put up a fight. I think that somebody is ready to fight for something. They're ready to fight for something that they they just can't move on from. I'm I'm gonna fight for it. I can't let it go. I want to go back to it. Um, somebody is probably leaving something that is emotionally unfulfilling, hoping or thinking that you know once they leave this, they're gonna they're gonna walk into something better. Or maybe that's what they thought. They may have thought uh, that they were going to walk into something better and they come to realize that they left something valuable behind. Um, it looks like somebody is searching for something bigger and better. The better opportunity is like I'm looking for something big. I'm looking for, you know, the best that I can get. So here we have a, a big, huge opportunity on the horizon. And I think that somebody is seeing that they have to go get it. This opportunity is too big. It is too valuable. It's too abundant. It is too... Uh, beautiful to give up. I mean... <coughs> somebody has a new opportunity here. And I think the new opportunity goes back to... Uh, is going back to something that they left. That's what they think, anyway. Somebody acted naively. Somebody may have realized that they took advantage of a situation, and now, you know, they realize that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Huh. Imagine that shit. Somebody has realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, and they want to go back. I feel like somebody is angry. <coughs> They have lost their focus and their concentration and perhaps they've had some sort of anxiety and depression that has overwhelmed them to the point where that they just can't do it anymore. I feel like somebody has, has, has been like, I can't live like this. I just can't live like this anymore. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I have to master my emotions. I have to do what's right. I have to replace this fear with faith. And I have to move forward. I have to, I have to follow my path. I have to face this opposition and, and stop resisting this need that I have. I feel like somebody has a desire to go back. I do. I mean, I really do. I mean, somebody has been hiding and they want to go back. They know they left something and they got to go back. I mean, that's what's going on here. So I feel like somebody has, it just wants it to end. I want this, I want this depression to end. I want these sleepless nights to end. I want these, this anxiety to end. And the only way it's going to end is for me to take action and move forward, you know. So I feel like somebody is finding the mental strength, because that's what this card is about. Somebody is finding the mental strength to, you know, defend themselves, stand up for themselves. To prove themselves. So I feel like somebody is going to put in extra effort to prove themselves after they have been unrealistic. They've been dissatisfied. They've been stubborn. They have been um, naive and re thinking that the grass was going to be greener on the other side. Now they want to come back. Now I don't know who this reading is for. It will not resonate with every single person. Um... 
this could be you, the watcher, watching this, wanting to go back, wanting to go back to your ex. I mean, I don't know who this is for, but somebody wants to go back. And it doesn't seem like somebody made a very wise decision. It doesn't, because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So I feel like somebody may want a fresh start, but we have somebody else here that is pretty stubborn. Okay, so this person is pretty stubborn, this person is suspicious, this person is possessive and jealous, and this person is like, I'm reluctant. I'm reluctant to, to work with you. I'm reluctant to, to put in any effort with you. So I feel like we have somebody that, there, there could be some sort of need to protect yourself from a liar. Okay, you may need to protect yourself from somebody that has deceived you in the past. Maybe you need to move on. Maybe you need to master your emotions and protect yourself from a cheater. Maybe you need to protect yourself from a liar. But somebody is reluctant to move on from a liar. I mean, what the hell? So I really feel like in order to release these negative thoughts in order to let go of this depression and this anxiety and these sleepless nights you need to do what's right for you you need to protect yourself you need to stop being stuck you need to allow transition you need to allow yourself to move on you need to stop thinking about going back you know what i mean so I really feel like somebody is wanting to take back control of a situation, but it's too late. I think it's too late because I think there's no fresh start here. There's no new beginning here with that four re reversed. It's too late. The opportunity is already gone. The opportunity has already been refused. And I think that somebody wants it back. They do. They want it. They want it. They want it back. They want their, their opportunity back. And I feel like they're willing to do whatever it takes. I, I'm, I'm willing to prove to you. I'm willing to prove to you that I will fight for you. I'm willing to prove to you that I will defend you. I'm willing to prove to you that I will do whatever it takes to... Well, let's get some more cards. Oh, God. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. <laughs> to do what? To do what? I mean... There's no love in that. There's no love there. To prove that I love you? But the King of, the King of Cups reverse doesn't master his emotions. He doesn't love. The King of Cups in reverse is emotionally withdrawn. He doesn't know how to love. He uses emotional blackmail as a tactic. The answer is no. The answer is no. There's no growth here. There's no, there's no, nothing healthy about this partnership. I feel as though we have somebody here that has been emotionally manipulative and controlling in the past. And they don't want another person to move on. But they're not ready to open their heart either. They realize that the grass was not greener on the other side. And perhaps they want a new beginning. 
but they're fearful of rejection and it's a good fear because it looks like they will be rejected it looks as though this person may be coming in to to make some sort of plea face opposition This person is doing everything they can to master their emotions, to bring success. But the fact of the matter is, they closed their heart off in the past. Therefore, this person that is on the other side does not trust them. And it looks as though this person may want to start over. They want to go back. There's a lot of indecisiveness. They want to end this despair. They realize what they left. They can't move on. They want to fight for it. They know that there is happiness behind it all. But it looks like the offer could be rejected because this person... is really not emotionally available. It's like this person isn't capable of loving. This person may be only focused on abundance, focused on assets, focused on money, focused on taking back their power, taking back their control, taking, you know, because we had that ace of pentacles before. They may be wanting to come back because of the financial abundance of a situation. It doesn't look like it's for love. It doesn't. I think we're dealing with a very manipulative, cunning individual who is not really looking for love. This person is looking for financial abundance, security, stability. That's it. They don't want another person to move on. So now they're going to come in and put up a fight. There's, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of tension. There's been a lot of pettiness in the past. And I feel like it's too late. I feel like it's too late. It's not a competition. And it feels like this person that you're dealing with thrives on competition. And they see it as a thrill. They see it as a thrill to make you prove yourself. I think we have a narcissist here. Okay, I do, I do, I do, I do. Narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. I do. I think we have a narcissist here, somebody that is very controlling, manipulative, that doesn't want to lose the best opportunity they had. 
So now they're going to put up a stink. They're going to put up a fight because they don't want you to walk away and truly move on. Be prepared for some sort of tension. Be prepared for some sort of fight. There could be a fight or an argument or an altercation on the horizon with somebody who sees your financial value and doesn't want you to move on. This person may be charging right back into your life like nothing ever happened. They have no fear. They want that golden op. They want what you have. Remember that 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 uh, Ace of Pentacles. They want what you have. This person is not a trustworthy individual. They're deceptive. All they want. is to go back for what they left behind and it's not love it's not love it's security it's financial security it's stability don't be a fool don't be a fool don't allow yourself to be controlled by somebody who's only focused on their ego, their pride. There's no growth in this, whatever it is. There's no growth. There's no longevity. It will just be a constant battle. We got somebody here who is only focused on their coin, not love. There's no love in these cards. None. None. And they're wanting to go back to something. They're wanting to go back to what they left behind. And it has to do with stability. Security. That's it. No love. It's not love. It's not love. They don't care about the love. They don't care about the love. They're leaving the love. They don't care about the love. There's secrets and lies. This person doesn't want to be alone. This person has been through some sort of repression because of their actions. You need to protect yourself from this manipulative person that is coming in to sweep you off their, your feet. They have no fear. They have no fear. You're gonna have to face this opposition with no fear yourself. You have no fear. Replace that fear with faith. You have moved forward. Do not allow a liar, a cheater, an abusive person to bring you backwards. I just want to turn it over. I don't want to manipulate it, so I'm just going to go like this. Either way, the lovers is reversed. This is a false contract. It's a false contract. There's incompatibility here. It's not meant to be. This is a card of consequences. Somebody has suffered some financial consequences for the decisions that they have made. Now they just want their abundance back. They want their security back. They want to sleep again. 
They want their peace back. And the only way to get it back is to go back to what they didn't value. And it, it probably maybe they're maybe they're trying, you know, hoping to make amends. But in all reality, this person is not a happy camper. They're not a happy person. And once again, there's no love. So I feel like today is a day. Of dealing with some sort of conflict of interest, really. It is a conflict of interest. Maybe it's within yourself. Maybe you need to come with the grip to the grips to come to the conclusion that the person that you were dealing with is a thief. They're only here to rob you. Because there's no love in these cards. Whew. So I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel as though somebody is needing to protect themselves. Seriously, protect yourself. Be careful. Be careful. You're dealing with somebody that is very secretive. They're a liar. They're controlling. And they're only in it for security and stability. You will know if this reading is for you or not. Be careful. Be careful. I don't see any love here. I don't see any love here. This person is a master. This person is a master. So be really, really, really careful. They know exactly what to say. They can charm the pants right off of you. But this person, whoever this person is, is a liar and a thief. And all they bring with them is conflict. They don't even bring money. They don't even have anything to give. They don't have love to give and they don't got money to give. Good luck. 